Let's have a look. This is going to be a bit embarrassing, isn't it? No. My rubbish. <laughs> We've all got it. So as a waste consultant, obviously I, I generally know what needs to be recycled and what doesn't. But my family are not always that great at it. Here I've got some uh, chicken steaks. That's soft plastics. And what have we got? That's uh, we've got a... bacon. You know, I mean, plastic again. All the soft plastic is covered in grease. That you, you can't recycle it. Uh, some medicine packets. That's plastic, not recyclable, to my knowledge. Yep. Again, it's not just the bacon that's a problem. We've got the soft plastics around your tofu. That's right. A lot of glad wrap in here. <gasps> oh my God! Somebody put a banana in here. What's that doing? Uh, this is a cheese packet. We've got <gasps> frozen mangoes, soft plastics. We've got Whitakers. Yeah. Good old chocolate. Oh, like Yum. Chocolate. What is that? AstroTurf? Fake grass or something? It's like, this is this is plastic AstroTurf. Oh. I'm not a zero waste household as you can see. <laughs> got a sour cream bottle here this which is... has got a number six on it. So through our numbers one to seven there are some which are much more recyclable than others. A six means that somewhere someone could possibly recycle it but it's got to be cleaned out. It's got to be right. thoroughly uh, yeah, process before that can happen and basically you're not willing to do that obviously. Well obviously one of my kids wasn't. Looking through all of this food, the supermarket shop and food seems to be the biggest creator of waste. It is and the food companies and the packaging companies will always argue that well we have to do this for food safety you know, oh we need this, we can't get rid of all this packaging, oh they're always the, the, the holy grail of food safety. And I go back to design of product packaging. Okay, we, this is food. It's food contaminated. We can actually make compostable packaging that meets food safety standards. We actually just have to put the effort into redesigning that product. Yep. So if we have a look here, this is this is a week's worth of recycling. What have we got in here? Let's have a look. We've got yep. cans, cans, cans of fruit. Peaches and guava, we've got uh, bottles of cream, ice cream containers, what flavour was that? Yum, <laughs> we've got pineapple, big plastic bottles and so this is what we found today that plastic bottles are among some of the main things being thrown into the rubbish when they can be recycled. Obviously your Fano know to put these in the recycling bin. I'm very aware my family hate shopping with me because I'm always looking at the packaging, I'm always asking questions, can I get this without packaging, can I leave this packaging behind, you know I've just bought this product, do you mind if I unwrap it here in your shop and leave the packaging there? So my family get really embarrassed by me um, all the time, so we're, you know, I'm far more aware than the average person um, and yet I still struggle 